The man who was once the boyfriend of Deshina Kyle is now facing charges in her murder. This is a case we've been following since Kyle went missing in June. Her body was found just last week. Well, today, police revealed that Kyle's former boyfriend, John Bassett, has been indicted by a Knox County grand jury on three new charges, murder, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse. Now, Bassett is already in jail. He's been there since early July after a raid on his home. At the time, Bassett was wanted on a violation of probation charge. Based on what they found inside, drug and weapons charges were added. Well, but it took until now, a week after remains found at a home in North Knoxville were confirmed to be Kyle's for the case to get back to Bassett. WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford has our top story. Family and friends are relieved to see the indictment of John Bassett. Tonight, I heard from one friend listed in the court documents as a witness about her relationship with Deshina Kyle and what she hopes happens to Bassett. She came downstairs and she, she asked me for a stick of butter. That's how I met her. That was about seven years ago. And over the years, Chastity Erskine and Deshina Kyle's friendship grew stronger to the point where they were like family. Literally. She found out that my kids was her little cousins on their dad's side. Erskine says they hung out all the time, whether it was to have fun or vent. I'll just text her and be like, I need my five minutes because I need somebody to talk to. And she was that friend, and you know, that, that cousin, that sister, you know, that that, you know, my go-to person. She says she was the same to Kyle, especially when she needed to talk about John Bassett. You know, she told me numerous amount of times that she, she, that she could just get away from him, but he didn't, he didn't let that happen and he wouldn't, you know, leave her alone. When Kyle went missing, she didn't want to believe Bassett could have been involved. she known him since high school. She thought of every other possible scenario. My first thoughts was, dang, like, who could have possibly done this to her? You know, like, where could she possibly be? Like, I'm thinking someone done kidnapped, kidnapped her or, you know, sex trafficking. But she also knew what Kyle told her about their relationship. So today, when she heard about the murder charge, she was relieved and hoping for the worst for him. I hope he gets life. I want him to get life or the death penalty but because she didn't deserve this, you know, she, she didn't deserve this. Erskine says she hasn't been able to sleep or eat well since her best friend went missing. Tonight, though, she's resting a little easier because she feels like some justice has been served. Lori. All right, Kirsty, thank you. And Erskine says she's so thankful to the Knoxville Police Department for never stopping to find out what happened to her friend. She believes if they hadn't caught Bassett violating probation, they might have never found Kyle's body.